Okay, g'day and welcome to Supreme Commander Forged Alliance. We've got the second game of Boomy up the top here in his now traditional Cybran uh, and Ants going Seraphim uh, on Twin Rivers versus Aaron in Aeon as Burr before and uh, Taco over here going UEF as before, so we've got a Seraphim changeover for Ants, but otherwise it's the uh, same factions that they picked last time. We're on Twin Rivers here, uh, it's a map that's probably familiar to a lot of people. We've got the back player slot as the air with the um, Hydro, and uh, so no hydros in the regular bases so they have to immediately get uh, power down before they're pretty much doing everything uh, I suspect Aaron is using the um, some uh, mod I can't remember exactly what it is to um, um, immediately start upgrading his mixes and then puts them on pause and uh, maybe or maybe that's just his habit of way of doing of it doing it but um, it's uh, I don't if, if it's a mod then I find it a little annoying and we can already see as well this game last game we saw taco and uh, Aaron immediately heading out of their bases to get stuff done out in the field uh, and we see exactly the same thing going on here. Ants and Boomy getting more stuff done with their commander. Um, not really making best use of the build range of the commander there. And he's going to walk all the way back to there to build those. And then all the way over here. That just slows everything down. Um, you really want to keep your command. If you're going to keep them in the base, then you really want to keep them uh, as static as possible there. Um, will we see a play for the side islands? Um, it's usually a pretty uh, pro move. Uh, if you can get a side island, then that's good. Uh, we've got a little cheeky lab and a scout pair out to uh, see if they can pick up some. Um, en engineers usually building those um, those side mixes and picking up the reclaim on the sides there. It looks like it's that's going to be pretty. Ooh, no, he's going to go straight inbound. Wow! And there's two Selens, three Selens over here. Um, will they take anything out? And it looks like they can do a pretty good job. I know they they can take out the scout then, uh, and the Selen will have a better range. Uh, so that's that is thwarted there, but not so this one. Um, Taco's spotted the engineer, and the engineer is just sitting there waiting to be picked off. He's moving out of the way, but not fast enough, and the engineer is going to have a. a the lab's going to have a good old time plinking away at that um, mass extractor there. We've got another flare and uh, spirit uh, off here to the side. Uh, meanwhile, the Selens are heading off in um, in hidden mode. We've got a lot of interesting. This is a lot of Selens being produced. Is this uh, Ants' particular variation on that? keep uh, as much as moving as possible and he just keeps on uh, Aaron just keeps on sending the, that that um, flare in there rather than out to the side to um, pick up the mixes so pick up that um, engineer doing reclaim duty there um, we've got a bomber to try and take out that which is a bit of overkill it's a bit of a shame and he's sent off units up there um, Aaron has uh, sent his en engineers out to here to to um, start them working, um, and he's probably going to pick up the rest of those, which is uh, a little naughty. You n usually leave that other side for your um, your friend back there. We've got that fleet of Selens heading down the side here, 
uh, to see what they can pick off. They'll probably get that um, that engineer. Uh, does he have a radar in base? No. Doesn't look like it. He's, he's left one slot for that for that um, uh, mass storage there, just in case. But otherwise, um, nothing. We've left the reclaim. The reclaim is taken on Ants' side. Ants, uh, sorry, Aaron has definitely taken them, taken the reclaim there. Um, is Boom? Is is Taco? going to make a play for that reclaim. Well, he's already well forward. Um, Boomy is uh, working to get stuff done over here. Um, and uh, Taco is just sitting there with a plasma cannon and nothing to do. Uh, he's got mass, mass extractors, um, a few that he needs to pick up. Um, Engineers doing reclaim. What's Taco up to here? He's got plenty of power. He's got plenty of build. So don't know what he's thinking there. But um, we've got a small army being uh, set up here. We've got uh, archers just in case that bomber was going to make another play for it. We've got <laughs> it's still circling around there just in case. No sign of air. Ah, no, the air factory. And yes, Aaron has um, started work. He's got another air factory there. He's got it started work on a chariot to take, hopefully, to take engineers over to that side island. We've got uh, a good force of... Um, uh, Thams, thank you, Brain, um, inbound, and a couple of um, Phobos, uh, Zooey's there um, to uh, pick things off. Uh, so that's a pretty interesting combination. Of course, the uh, the Selen's all able to hide as soon as they stop moving. So, um, will he uh, get much done with? pushing units up forward. Um, haven't seen that many Selens played in a while, so that's an interesting manoeuvre. We've got uh, more mass extractors going T2, so it looks like um, Aaron is pushing pretty heavily to, to go... Um, he's got the range gun going down. Very good plan, given that Ants has a, pre a forward base and he's got those Selens out. Can he make use of them? Um, Taco is sending some um, pre pretty slow units over. Not going to be able to get much done there. Uh, and we've got a bit of a push. No, it looks like um, Ants really hasn't found out. What can Ants... Sorry. Yeah, what can Ants see there? Well, he can... In Knows there was something there. He hasn't got any radar coverage that far forward, so he doesn't know there's an upgrading commander there. Got a bit of an engagement here with um, Taco being pushed back, but he's got a couple of PDs online. That's going to be very hard to um, dislodge immediately. We've only got um, Mantis coming out there, so they're going to make pretty good work if... Um, their side can be um, shored up by uh, Taco on that side, then that um, is going to do pretty good work keeping that at bay. But the sensor sweep going down for Aaron um, and making use of his superior range there, just kiting them away, keeping picking things off when he, when he can. Um, what can Aaron see there? He's got good radar. He's got a T2 radar there, so he can get a lot done. Our Taco has come over, and he's pushing on this side. And yes, they're going to drive ants back. We've got Aaron, be Aaron heading forward as well. Look at that sensor suite. So much vision. Really makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? Uh, especially for all of the units around you. You can really hunt things down. We're going to get a lot of damage done here to um, 
ants on this side. Um, but is Boomy making a push over on this side? He's pretty static, not getting much done. We've got a drop here uh, for Aaron that's produced engineers and they're getting a few factories online. Really want to scoop up that mass first. Um, really not look at that two commanders. We've got the range gun and the sensors. Um, where are we going here? Um, got some scouts coming in and looks like Boomy's sent forces over to defend ants while they get some building done. Um, and uh, if Taco had scouting or radar there, then uh, he would really he'd be able to see no defences mu very much in the base there. Just plonk that radar down or move up a bit fur further. You know, there's nothing there and get stuff done. Um, there's a little bit of a force there, um, but it's going to be pretty hard to, to um, get two commanders out of this um, and a considerable force of units there. Nice work from Taco getting all of those units up to the front line. Um, Aaron kiting away to keep the the um, commander's range. He really doesn't want to get, um, doesn't want to let that um, cliff there get in his way. Uh, Ants is going to start really feeling the pressure here. Uh, Aaron looks like he didn't. S he sent that commander a bit too far back. He's got a Yenzin, um, but it's just not going to stand up to just the quantity of units there. There's a few Mantis in there to try and pick things off, um, but it's going to really start making life difficult over here for Ants. Um, and uh, meanwhile, Taco picking off a T2 mass extractor. Ooh, just fill it, finish that off, man. Um, got some overcharges going down. Um, and yes, Taco has also dropped. Looks like he got a drop down, or did he borrow a uh, chariot? They've shared out those mass extractors evenly. Uh, and we do have an air factory up. I just don't... S ah, yes, there's the scout. Okay, so that's good. We've got a lot of play going down here. Uh, if you can... S if you can uh, get some of those, um, some of that juicy reclaim there, just leave your commander there, hoovering it up for as long as possible, uh, deny it to your enemy. Um, got an engineer there that could be doing some, laying down some more mass extractors and um, getting even building a factory there to get stuff on the front line. Uh, but it looks like that. Um, Aaron and Taco are building up forces here on the, this right hand side um, and still that reclaim left there yep dropping in some ma um, engineers I'll bet you Taco is how are we doing oh no he's got plenty of mass so really could be using that um, He's got engineers to try and pick up some of the reclaim there, but uh, we're not doing much with it. Aaron's got some um, shielded... Um, if he doesn't let his units go too far forward. Uh, shielded obsidians. Um, kind of a tautology there, but you know what I mean. Um, and uh, ooh, we've got Tech 2 PD down... For uh, Ants, who's got Tech 2 engineers online. Um, that commander was a bit badly damaged in that, but um, now what's Aaron up to? He knows there's that um, PD and it's going to be very hard to move. Got the Zef amp going on for Taco, um, but I think that wave of Mantis is really going to struggle um, against the UEF there. Um, just walking into it and oh lo and behold we've got some reclaim going on um, 
Taco. We've got some bombers coming in uh, because, yep, they've noticed there's pretty much no air defense here. Um, but uh, good work from Boomy there, building up some um, uh, uh, interceptors, but uh, Aaron's interceptors are just going to take them out really quickly. Uh, we've got two bombers. What can they get done? I think they're being sent back because they're just being a little, a little bit afraid of um, those interceptors. Uh, got the damage gun uh, still being built for. Um, I've got point defense going down here. Surely that's in range of um, that PD. Um, lots of engineering there, but uh, not a lot going on. I suspect that Boomy is. Yep. Oh, look at that crippling power stall. He's really going to be struggling there, and meanwhile Ants is overflowing with power. He's got plenty of power to spare, but um, you just need to communicate with your team member and ask for it. I bet you'd get a lot more done. A whole bunch of scouts sent in to see what's going down here. We've got T2 factories. We're going to start seeing T2 armies being put in. We've got a bit of a stalemate here. Still with a cheeky Selen combat scout back here, just in case someone should try to pick up that reclaim. <laughs> Looks like he's already picked off an engineer, so that's kind of amusing, but he's not doing with much with it. We've got more troops being built here, so are we looking at a staging base there? Um, that could be interesting. We've got um, this island pretty heavily defended. Um, by Taco, what's the plan going down? Where? What are we aiming for? We've got the nano repair going up for ants. Interesting. Um, that he's got a pretty good army there. We've got shields. Yep, I thought so. I thought that was in range. Um, I just ha I bet you did. He didn't have vision on them. That's probably why nothing got done. Um, Taco, man, you're killing me. Get those uh, mass extractors. They can be earning your, your mass. It's all good. Um, Ants, looking... He's got a reasonably good economy. He could be definitely using more of that reclaim out there. Um, we've got a mongoose to try and pick off things, but that was just badly uh, arranged or badly uh, microed by um, by Taco there, and it was left to go. Um, so we're nearly 18, or we're coming up to 18 minutes in, uh, and we're at a bit of a stalemate. We've got wow, a T3 mass extractor back here. Uh, so looks like uh, ants is really heavily in into the he's got a pretty massive so he's got plus 76 um, mass income here and he's still stalling he's got the nano repair online uh, and that will be uh, very quickly regenerating and um, that will look pretty good and he's got engineer assistance so what are we doing they can see the forces on their doorstep they can see taco moving about trying to get something done there's a whole avenue down here that they seem to know nothing about uh, that could be um, keeping them um, backed up we've got a art artillery we've got a backward base here to support the commanders, and here we go. We'll, we'll uh, get a bit of get get a bit done, but the mongies are coming in and really doing a number on that flank there. Ants has got T2 on the commander, uh, so he's going to start that pigeon and move in. Uh, he's got the nano repair, so he could could get more stuff done. 
Um, can they get rid of these commanders? It's going to be difficult. The um, I've got, uh, and that's just a lot of zooies. It's going to be very difficult for those shields to cope with. Um, once you let the, those zooies into range, uh, you've just got a buttload of problems. So uh, Aaron's still looking good. He's got a shielded commando. He's got the range gun. Uh, he's got sensors all day, so it's re he's really not going to have any problems. Um, he uh, and he can come back, and yeah, it looks like we've pretty much lost all of that. They've got to going to be picked off if they try to get close to that base now. Uh, so they really need to be changing it up. But my uh, one of my favourite little moving chainsaw tactics um, getting a bunch of units moving around on a patrol order there but I don't know what that's uh, what else that's going to achieve them uh, it looks like Aaron sent a bunch of units in to be sacrificed here does he have the are there any there's uh, no support he's got the commander coming in commanders bringing in wow and Aaron's managed to Pull down that commander. Wow. I really wish I'd uh, been watching that more closely. And now, now that they've got rid of Aaron, we've got two commanders on the front line coming over. Boomy has got Vipers out. That's a really nice play. That'll make short work of anything left uh, inauspiciously sitting around where Viper missiles can take them out. Um, and uh, we've got hoplites as well coming in to do good range damage on that front line. Uh, so it's really going to be interesting if they can push, if um, Boomy can push back uh, here, maybe pick off one of these commanders. Um, Taco is probably having power problems because his uh, shield is cycling. Um, and we've got the heavy shield going down for Aaron. Uh, almost overkill at this stage, I'd say. Uh, what are we doing for power here, Boomy? Uh, probably need another P-Gen somewhere. Um, yeah, we're going for the full cluster of uh, P-Gens around the, um, the factories there. Um, so... Uh, Taco is going to be hoovering up mass with his commander if he's not overflowing it. It looks like he's overflowing it. Uh, yep. Uh, he just needs <laughs> all the power he can build uh, back in this base. What's he doing with it? Um, oh, I don't see any more things being built. So he's really... Um, and they've got that radar there but it's just not enough um, where's the other radar for Aaron it's not it's he's got range from his commander vision from his commander and he's got a few scouts out here just not really sure of what's going on in that base they need a, a um, another radar closer up uh, or tech 2 on that Radar. Boomy, your uh, answer's only hope here. What have we got? We've got lots of engineering stations. Uh, so he's got lots of build power if he needs it. Um, but you can probably do a lot more with engineers uh, unless you're really uh, strapped for space or um, they're off doing something else. Uh, got nano repair going down for, for Taco. Uh, that's going to make him extremely difficult to get rid of. We've got the heavy shield on Aaron. We've got the shielded uh, gun com um, with nano here. These guys could just walk straight in and get stuff done. Let's watch that. So, Taco getting in range. He's got uh, more units to try and pick off 
those hoplites and he's got uh, units trying to pick off the rhinos there um, got the Aaron um, backing him up with good long-range shots um, I would have said that uh, if Aaron had gone for the, s the speed gun there as well, that would be a pretty invincible um, position. Uh, and they've just set themselves under up under a power shield and they're just lay laying waste to things. Um, good work keeping those units moving against those Vipers. Um, if you can get, get in range of them, then that's uh, really going to get some good work done. Uh, but we've just got commanders inbound. We've got some PD going up here uh, to try and pick off those forward units. Um, but shields are coming in. Uh, there's not a lot of units in support here. Uh, Taco is really go doing good work. He's got a bunch of, <laughs> I think, a bunch of interceptors sent in by accident. Uh, and he can just sit there all day. He's got... Uh, no, he's got three veterancies, he's got um, gun com, he's got shield, he's got nano repair. Uh, it's just going to be very difficult. Boomy is now in range of the mongoose and it's game over pretty soon. Nice, well, nice work there. Um, I really liked the, uh, the teamwork of Aaron and Taco uh, reaching out and getting stuff done. Um, and uh, always bringing the uh, the game to uh, Ants and Boomy. Uh, and we even had, look at that, we even had a little um, Mercy Snipe prepared just in case there. So that was going to be pretty amusing. Okay, good game. Thanks very much for watching and see you soon.